Hi, my name's Ray Chambers and I'm an ICT teacher at Lodge Park Technology College in Corby, Northamptonshire, England. Now what I want to show you today is how to use the Connect SDK to create gestures. So if your hands above your head, your program will do something. If your hands to the right, it will do something. Now, first of all, open up the sample, which you will see in the YouTube video link at the bottom, and you will also find it on my blog. If you right-click on it and open it, it should take you to your design. Now, if it has taken you to the code, all you need to do is press close and open up the main window again. Now I'm just going to show you what the program does at the moment. So if I press the play button, this is just a simple program that controls my head and my arms. Okay, so if I just stop this, now I want my program to be a little more interactive. So, for example, if my hand goes above my head, it's going to do something else. So, first thing we need to do is go to the code. So, if you click on the drop down arrow and then open up mainwindow.cs, this takes you to your code. Now, the first thing you'll notice is runtime. If you have two connects plugged in, what you could do is change the 0 to a 1 and you could use the other connect device. This is one of the features added in the beta 2. The other thing is when the program runs, you have runtime.skeletonframeready. This is what controls the skeleton tracking. So it goes into here and you have your different ellipse positions here which are also controlled by this down here we've got our set ellipse position now to add in our gesture we need to add in a new process so underneath each of our joints making sure you stay between here We're going to add in our new process and it's going to be called process gesture. Now we want to pass in our three different joints. So all you need to do is copy each of these in. So I want my head in and then a comma. I want my hand left in then a comma. and I want my right hand as well. Then I'm going to put it in brackets and close that. But you'll notice you've got a red error here. This is because we haven't used it yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my new process outside our current one for the skeleton. So this is going to be called private void process gesture and you'll notice the order in which things have been posted in we have our head first which is joint head then we have our left hand then we have our right hand and I'm just going to open up each of the brackets and you'll notice that your red line has gone away. Now, at the moment, we haven't got it doing anything when we do the gesture, so we need to tell the program to do this. So, it's kind of like standard English. You're saying, if this happens, then do this. So, what I'm going to type in is, if, open up some brackets, hand right dot position dot y now the reason we're choosing the y position is because the y position is up and down and the x position is across the screen so if the right hand is greater than the head position 
dot y we want it to do something so obviously if it's higher than the head position y it's above your head so if this happens I'm gonna start a new set so here we go if hand right position we're just gonna do something simple like a message box so message box dot show speech marks your hand is above your head now watch ha what happens when I run it so here's both my hands I'm gonna move my right hand up slowly when it gets above my head your hand is above your head. If I click OK, back down, your hand is above your head. And that's just something simple. Now if you wanted to add in extra ones, all you'd do is extend your code and do else if, and then you start another one. So if my right hand dot position dot y is less than zero, I want to say message box dot show your hand is below your waist. So now it's going to detect whether my hand's above my head or if my hand is below my waist. Now, zero is, if you like, the center axis, so the center of the screen. So if it goes any lower than that, it's generally going to be below your waist. That is why I've put zero there. So now if I play that again, Now if I lower my right hand, there you go, your hand is below your waist. And that's just something simple there. Now you can play around with this and you can also do things like the X position so else if hand right dot position dot X is greater than hand then head position head dot position dot y minus naught point four five then message box dot show your hand a new position so you could try out lots and lots of different features to see where your hand is you can try some text boxes out but that's just something simple to help you start using gestures in your code. So if I just press play now, that detects whether my hand has gone to the right or not. So if I click OK, 
it's detected now that my hand is above the waist. Sorry, below the waist. So see what you can do with this. I hope that's been helpful and hopefully it can help any students, even yourself, make some future Connect apps. If you have any more questions, feel free to have a look on my blog, raychambers.wordpress.com or just contact me at lanky underscore boi underscore ray. Thanks for your time.